Okay, so there's a couple things we want to look at real quick in this video, uh, just to help you guys out a little bit, is how you hide something, and also if your lights aren't showing up, how to actually make sure they show up. So you can see I have my ceiling right here, and my ceiling is making it so I can't really work inside very easily. So what I have to do is I just have to hide this. So one thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my Modify tab, and I'm going to change the name of this. So up here on the top right, uh, I'm going to change this to ceiling. So then over here on my left side, and which shows everything in the scene, I can actually find it much easier. So I'd highly recommend you name everything you're doing, from, the, especially in like a scene with lots of pieces. Um, it makes it much, much easier. So when I have ceiling selected, I'm just going to click on this eyeball, and it goes away. So it's still there. Like I can turn it back on or off whenever I want to. Uh, and that makes my life much, much easier. So I can keep working. I don't have to move it off to the side um, and all of that good stuff. So let's go ahead and put some lights down again and see how that's working. So remember, yours is going to sh show photometric by default. We want to click on that and change it to standard um, first and foremost. And then I can just click like free spot and put it down and hit W. So there it is, right? So I can't see what it's illuminating. So to make sure that's working, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on where it says user defined. I'm going to choose lighting and shadows and I'm going to pick illuminate with scene lights. So now this is lighting my scene and I can actually see everything pretty easily. Well, everything that the light is obviously interacting with. So then I can just go back and go to illuminate with default lights so I can keep placing lights and everything like that. And then just switch back and forth pretty easily. All right, so those should be the last two things you guys need uh, for this project. So good luck.